Hey you all, so I decided to challenge myself for the next week. I think I'm gonna give it a week. A week. I'm going to basically not go grocery shopping. I'm gonna cook whatever I freaking have in my cupboards because I'm finding that I'm going to the grocery store like every other day, buying all this stuff, stuff is going bad, or I'm just like buying the same stuff and it's just like, you know what? And I spent a crazy amount of money. I'm like, let me challenge myself to cook what I have and hopefully it'll help me to come up with some different recipes, some new things to cook. Um, and I can just actually use the food that I have without letting it go bad or just buying it and letting it sit in my cabinet. So let me show you all. I mean, it's a little all over the place. I'll show y'all what I have in here right now. So of course, I got flour, which I'm actually low on flour. I got some dry black beans. I got some seasonings and spices and I got some uh, breast milk bottles. Um, I got a little bit of these quick oats, but that's full. That that uh, old fashioned oats. This is full. I got some hoisin sauce, which is really good. It's like a um, Asian barbecue sauce. Uh, let's see, cake flour, a little bit of spaghetti. I think I got some like radiator pasta. Let me see. Oh my goodness, come here that I can use for Madison. Yeah, this uh, veggie radiator pasta. I got some peanut butter up here. And this is like, I don't know, this is Chris's, but he never really eats for real. So it's just sitting in there. I got some tahini, which I love, and some nutritional yeast. And some black, not black, some dark chocolate. Um, these, which I bought eons ago, and I have not used them. I only use them like twice. These are actually vegan ramen noodles, just the, the noodles without the seasoning. And I have still cut oats behind this brewer yeast, which is supposed to help with breastfeeding, um, increasing your milk supply. So that's what I have in my cupboards. And then in my fridge, oh, 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 oh. Um, we got broccoli and pickles and in this container I made some, uh, what do you call them, sweet potato pancakes. So that's the batter. I'm going to make some more for Madison tomorrow. We got not a whole bunch of soy milk. It's like probably like here, maybe. Some orange juice. I got a bag of kale back there for Chris because he eats kale and broccoli before he goes to work. So that's his. This is a big thing of collard greens, which I'm making something which has collard greens in it. Some grapes. Maddie likes grapes and some strawberries for her as well. I got some mango down here. And I got these little things which I thought she would like. I spent like $7 at Trader Joe's buying these and she does not like them. So I'm going to actually probably peel them because they're starting to get soft. I'm probably going to peel them and make some orange juice out of them or mandarin juice. <laughs> um, and then I got a big old thing of spinach. Fresh spinach. I got some parsley in here. Y'all, I didn't even realize that I have this. I could add this to my curry that I'm making right now. I'm actually going to add this to my curry. Um, but yeah, I have a yellow squash. See, that's what I'm saying. I would go grocery shopping and like completely forget that and guess what? That would go bad. I got some iceberg lettuce, some green beans, a little bit of carrot, flavano peppers in there. And then um, on our door, we just got condiments and stuff. But this is some vital wheat gluten. I might, I might try to use it. I'm going to use it. I mean, because I'm going to go a minute without buying stuff. Then in the freezer, we got breast milk. Um, this is for Chris, some ground beef. These are for Maddie, these veggie balls. But if she goes through them, I have to make her something else. Um, this is for her smoothies. These are some peppers, cheese, because Chris doesn't eat. Chris doesn't, hasn't been eating a lot at home because of his hours he's working now. And we stopped eating cheese, so they're just in there. I got this corn and then these dumplings from Madison. Um, some berries, which if I want to make her smoothies, hmm. But anyways, I got frozen strawberries, and that's about it in the in the frozen department. And then for like a snack, I have some. Yeah, excuse this bin. It's like I don't know what that. Is. It's dirty. Y'all know how stuff be. But anyways, I got some sunflower seeds that I can use as a snack and then I got some pinto beans back here that I should I should make me like a stew with or something not a whole lot in here I got these plantain chips I can snack on got some almonds um, some flaxseed I can add to I mean chia seed 
I can add to smoothies and then I got all my teas in here so that's what we got oh we also got bananas and we got bread and an onion and some garlic one onion I think that's my last onion is it yep that's my last onion so what you where did she go she came here for a second and ran out so that's what I got and then I also have some extra firm tofu and I got like two small red potatoes in here and some um what do you call it mm. two i got two small red potatoes and some oh is this is an onion dude i got some onions okay didn't even why the hell is that i never put my onions with my potatoes because they actually make the potatoes go bad so there we go um you okay go put your she's like no <laughs> Uh, this is my tofu I just made. I'm probably gonna make a salad either later or tomorrow and add this to it. But I'm also gonna add it to this curry I just made. I just made some curry and it's done. It's done. All right, y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you some stuff that I'm making with what I got. The challenge is to not go grocery shopping for a week. Today is Friday the 21st, so We'll see how this goes. All right, we'll see. Well, I'm gonna see the longest that I can go. A week is what I'm thinking about. That way, I can save some money, and I can clean up and you know, eat what I have. All right, y'all. Peace. So I just want to show you all what I'm doing. It's not a tutorial, nothing really, but I took some super firm tofu from Trader Joe's and I kept the water in here and um, sliced it lengthwise down, and then. Uh, Made it into these little cubes. I just added some ginger and some salt. I could have easily like shook this up some more, like put it in a large container, put a top on it and shake it up, but I ain't doing all that. Then I put some coconut oil in my skillet. And I'm just going to let this lay down. I have a feeling it's gonna freaking stick to the skillet and I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, it's already sticking because it's not enough oil. But I didn't want a whole bunch of oil. I don't know. I just wanted to get some type of color on it, some type of more like flavor. So yeah, I'm letting that sit there. Of course, you can do it with more oil. You could put cornstarch on it to make it even more crispity, crunchity. Um, but I just went ahead and did this really quickly, and I'm gonna just keep moving it around. I might add some more oil. This is the coconut oil that I use from Trader Joe's. I split it in half and put the rest in a smaller container and I keep it in our bathroom. That way we can use it for like hair care, skin care, taking off makeup, that type of deal. I don't want too much oil, but I like, I want this to be crispy. Which is probably why I should have put the cornstarch on it. But, whoop, I am making some curry. Um, it's a little watery, so I might just let it cook with the top off. I'm trying to see if my potatoes are softened. They are a little softer. You can see it sliding off the fork, but it's not all the way soft. So I'm just going to keep it covered. I don't want these greens to get too dark. I mean, like, I, I don't want them to get, like, too wilted. Oops. So I got them kind of on the top. Like I just cut them up, sliced and put them on the top. And um, I could have really put more in there. I forgot how much greens shrink down, but it'll be good. I just want to make sure I get green vegetables pretty much with everything that I'm eating. Um, so that's that. I think it's a little watery. I wish I had, Madison, I wish I had like some rice or something to put in here, but I have like no grains. I do have quinoa, but I'm not a big quinoa fan. So we ain't gonna add that. Yeah, right now I'm just, I know I shouldn't be using a, a fork, but I'm holding the camera while I'm doing this. But yeah, I'm going to flip these over a little bit, give them some color. And I'm not going to add them to this. Instead, I'm just going to put it on top um, right before I eat it. Let me check my potatoes. So it's a little soft. I just don't feel like it's soft enough. So I'm going to cover it back up again. Just give it some time to cook. Actually, I'm going to turn it down and give it some time to cook. But that's what I'm eating right now. I just want to show you all just because, like, just because.
So right now I'm just taking all the squash that is cooked through and kind of moving it to the edges of the pan and then the squash that's still not cooked, I'm moving it towards the middle because this is a pretty large pan, which I do suggest that you get some different size pans in your um, kitchen, you know, just in your supply, just because if you're doing meal prepping, you want to be able to cook a lot of food at once. And I love this pan, but the only thing is, you know, the eye that the heat is on, it's only concentrated like really in the middle. So you gotta really shift your food around when you're cooking. So I want this to really sweat and get like some kind of juiciness to it. So I'm gonna turn the heat down a little lower. Since now my food, I mean my squash has cooked through a little bit. But I'm gonna let it slow down. That way the onions will release some of their juice. And then also the uh, squash will have a time to start to seep some of the moisture, if you will. So it could be a little bit of, a little something, a little something to sop up, you feel me? Um, because if you just let your food cook too fast, like you're not going to be able to really get that sweetness and those flavors out of your vegetables. So really take your time. I like to put it on high to begin with, just so I can kind of get like a little brownness on it. When I can get the process going, then I'll put it down low and just let it, you know, take its time and let the juices come out. Right now, I have uh, my spinach just on the top of these, uh, spaghetti and as you can see it still has a nice bright you know green color it's not all brown or nothing like that so I can actually drain these um, so that my spaghetti don't become too mushy all right so it has cooked down so I'm gonna give it a little bit more time because like I said I want some juiciness to come out um, but I'm gonna give it some time you can see it's kind of caramelized a little bit you do want to watch it you do not want this to burn because that sugar it can burn with the sugar in there and then the whole reason why I put butter and oil is because uh, I want that like buttery flavor but the oil helps the butter to not burn off as quickly because oil has a, a higher burning temperature or whatever so yeah that's that I'm just gonna kind of concentrate some of these pieces into the middle and let that continue Oh yeah, this is good. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. All right, our squash is all done, y'all. This is so good. It's got that salty sweetness to it, y'all. This is bomb. Got to just take your time cooking it. All right, to the same skillet that I had my pasta in. So I'm just gonna take a minute to transfer the pasta and the spinach back into the pot. Well, remember, do not let your pasta sit in the water for too long or it will keep cooking and become like really soggy. So I have this vegan uh, kale, cashew, and pesto, and basil pesto from Trader Joe's. Y'all, it's really good. You can make your own, but this is good. So I'm adding a generous amount because I just want to use it before it goes bad. And I kept some of that pasta water. Make sure you keep, I almost forgot. So at the last minute I added some more. I'm adding some of that in here. Along with some nutritional yeast. And you all go check out a video I have talking about like my vegan um, staples from Trader Joe's. But I can redo that vid too. And I can add some more stuff to it and show you all how to use it. The ingredients. All right, so I don't know why I got a freaking plastic fork, but okay. I'm uh, just going to mix that and just add a little bit of water at, at a time. You can add in some more butter and all that, but there's oil in the pesto. There's oil and butter in the squash, so I'm just going to let this do its thing. I'm not going to add anything else to it. And I really only need a little bit of water because the pesto is kind of wet too. I'm going to add in some more nutritional yeast just to give me like that nuttiness kind of sweet not sweet but nutty like cheesiness to it and turn this down because I don't want to cook the pasta all the way anymore so I turned it I just wanted to warm it up some so let me give it a taste Ooh. see if I need any salt but you know we salted our pasta and we put it some of that water from the pasta that had salt in it too that was good no salt needed all right, let's plate this up, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. So 
So I just had to walk away from the pan because I was eating out the pan, even though I know I got a whole plate of food. Y'all ever do that? Y'all. Ooh, so grateful I was able to click me something to eat. The kids are asleep. I edited a video. I'm winning today. So I'm gonna try the pasta with the squash. Y'all, this squash is bomb. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So simple. A regular old onion. Need some water. A regular onion. Yellow squash, which is super cheap. I got it for like that one huge squash. I got it for less than a dollar from the farmer's market, y'all. Get it together. The healthy food does not have to be expensive. I got that. That little punk old onion. Some brown sugar. Salt and pepper. A little bit of butter or oil or both. And just some thyme and just layer your cooking. Mmm. Then this pasta is good and I got my greens in here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm about to go sit down, watch waiting to his hell, y'all. Yes, honey. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's okay. Y'all don't have to know. But this is really good. I'm glad I didn't buy any groceries because like I said, it's forcing me to eat what I have and not waste any food. You could add the squash to the pasta. I just want to be able to eat a little bit of the squash by itself, eat a little bit of the pasta by itself and then combined it, but I think it would be good together, just mixed up, like kind of like a pasta primavera. And I also think this would be good with penne pasta as well. So I hope you all like this video um, and this little series of me just cooking what's in my fridge. And I suggest you all do the same because you never know what you come up with. Mmm.